Bitcoin versus Bitcoin Cash. Hi, Michael Burrell, founder of Cryptocurrency Global Wealth and CGW Report. Bitcoin Civil War, did it even exist? Don't be alarmed, I'll explain what is happening in the crypto space as simple as possible. As I know many of you are new to Bitcoin and the disruptive industry that follow CGW Media Report website. I give you my understanding and information source from specific online connections and interactions. I will explain why the past few weeks have been interested in the case of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Two sides entirely against each other and the fight for dominance of Bitcoin's ecosystem is the effect of Bitcoin Core and a FUD, meaning fear, uncertainty and doubt. An easy way to find out daily if you are new to Bitcoin is to check out coinmarketcap.com's website which gives you updates on value and trade of currencies with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and over 1200 plus cryptocurrencies. It is where you'll find primary research and development and connections with altcoins and the companies who have designed and developed their own versions of the blockchain within their own crypto space. But since August 1st, 2017, the hard fork and the introduction of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, we have seen Bitcoin gains continue in favour. What we are witnessing is a failed attempt on Cash's manoeuvre to become the original authenticity of Bitcoin. As Roger Fur had explained it to Richard Hart in a heated debate over Bitcoin Core last week, the YouTube link is below. Bitcoin continues to stay strong as usual. The past 11 months we have seen a very volatile but jubilant Bitcoin. As billionaire Warren Buffett had expressed, if China's government could not stop Bitcoin, nothing will. Again, the link below. The attempt to activate Secret Times 2 last week exposed what I believe was a massive pump and dump which many who fought the Bitcoin cash illusion, specifically investors who hold a BTC long term, lost out big time. The scheme backfired and it made no difference as of Tuesday the 21st of the 11th, 2017. Bitcoin had reached a high of over 8,200 USD, idling today at around 8,100. In that same, Bitcoin Cash also gained a value of 1,176 today, Wednesday the 22nd of November 2017. Last week, Bitcoin Cash market cap pumped 17 billion worth of trading, a record 24 hour volume for the crypto space. Today is number three on coin market cap, valued at present 19.8 billion. What we are seeing is the new digital footprint, I believe, will change its move to the mainstream very soon, meaning stabilization of a strong Bitcoin long term. Could it be good for good or for worse? My first focus on this debacle, personally it is harming Bitcoin's core development. I see original Bitcoin long term will remain single core and number one of the cryptocurrency industry with a better, stronger, secure dominance of edging towards 20,000 value within the next 24 months. Now let's take it from another angle. Two weeks ago we saw crypto slide in the negative for two days straight. Bitcoin fell to 5,500. A few days later, it gained back to 7,000. So what is moving Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash to fork and divide? Slower speeds in transitions, maybe? High transactions fees for Bitcoin? Supply and demand are now globally off the charts. Or as Roger Ver points out, Bitcoin Cash is the original Bitcoin. A mass belief that many Bitcoin supporters have opposed against, including myself. My understanding and experience have my conspiracy thoughts at play on finding could this be some chain of command injecting billions of dollars into Bitcoin Cash's crypto space, but for what reason? For a better system, faster transactions, or larger block size? Or to try and move Bitcoin Cash as the original authenticity of Bitcoin itself? Bitcoin's experts panel of advisors such as Roger Vera, Richard Hart, Craig Wright, and Jihan Wu. If you do not know these four individuals, please take the time to look them up on Google's. These leaders, digital experts or technical advisory of Bitcoin's core at present, all four have a significant say in Bitcoin's future. We know facts are conclusive to find a specific source of information online. There could have been an actual FUD at the end of original Bitcoin, 
and move by Bitcoin Cash's platform, allowing operations to flow smoother to a permanent structured virtual monetary system. I think not. I say this because development is a necessity for Bitcoin to develop a better, more intrinsic value by cryptocurrency going mainstream with Bitcoin. Recently, I finally found out that the Blockstream, Bitcoin's core development, has connections with AXA, a global insurance corporation, with ex CEO, CEO Henry de Castries. I believe Blockstream is now in control by the Bilderberg, by the Bilderberg Group. Again, links below. If that is so, I will be moving to expand towards Kryptonite cryptocurrencies, untraceable cryptos, and hold Bitcoin long term only. Now, these various alternatives are the cutting edge of the future. No matter what happens with Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, the easy way is just to hold Bitcoin long term or Bitcoin Cash short term. What we've seen is a slow stranglehold on humanity's last power to be decentralized and independent from the very forces we know we have had control over all monitoring commodities for a very long time. Definitely a civil war within the crypto space. I aim to undermine high po higher powers in the degree to share to the millions of connections and the real intent of a new world currency and the now established SDR cryptocurrency designed for the IMF's takeover. Very simple to stop this from happening. What we need to do is for power people power to flood Bitcoin with an endless haven to put an end to the greed which is now upon the crypto space itself. We believe needs to be decentralized at all costs from the very people whose sole purpose is power and manipulation. Bitcoin and the blockchain is the last frontier. It's a fight, the good fight, where the type of war has commenced for nearly two decades or even more. What this means is forces are aligning for or against us. If you want Bitcoin to be the people's currency global, we need to force together a stronger algorithm that can alter any backdoors and future DDoS attacks on Bitcoin and its entire ecosystem. In my own words and the endless watching of the heated debate between Richard Hart and Roger Fur, it summed it up where I see Bitcoin now. At present, I'm very calm about it, but I feel uncomfortable in some certain circumstances with the outcome stable but what we are seeing is a sellout of the core design of Bitcoin's development. Ultimately the greed and misuse disguise of using the hype of Bitcoin to lure new investors into the pump and dump Ponzi scheme by taking their money and using it for its own accreditation and purposes. The undermining of another process that again fails to meet the expectations, possibly due to the greed factor, I see as failing to take over Bitcoin. Still, I know positive gains without the friction of Bitcoin's present negativity. I will keep all my Bitcoin secure and remote. Small short term investment in Bitcoin Cash, maintaining such investments as alternative and Monero, Bitcoin, and Aeon kryptonite cryptocurrencies for safer and untraceable peer to peer. Transactions. I'm Mike Worrell, founder of Cryptocurrency Global Wealth and the CGW Report. Thank you. Talk soon. Bye for now.